Hello, hi, welcome back. Let me ask you a question. What is your definition for success? You may say creativity, hard work, determination, passion, innovation, a lot of other things. But what if I say no? If creativity is the definition for success, why not all creative people are successful? If hard work is the definition for success, why not all hardworking people are successful? Let's talk about that in detail. In this video, we're going to review the book that I recently read. It is Working Up the Wrong Tree, written by Eric Barker. He is Eric Barker, he's the one. And uh, the author is from the US, who started his career in uh, Hollywood as a screenwriter. And later, he has his own site, bakadusio.com, where he talks about how to be awesome at life. And through this book, it's a debut book, and he became an author. And the book is published in 2017. Right then, let's get in detail and uh, review this book. Instead of just reviewing this book, I thought of sharing the four lessons that I learned through this book. So the lesson number one is finding who you are, knowing thyself. Knowing if you are a filtered person or an unfiltered person helps your success rate in a massive success rate. If you are a filtered person, you are about to follow rules. If you're in school or college or in office, you follow the rules, the process. If you're an unfiltered person, you don't follow that. You got you come out of nowhere and you become successful. So knowing if you are a filtered person or an unfiltered person will help you identify if you are in the right pond. If you are an unfiltered person working in a filtered environment, that will never help you to grow. If you're an unfiltered, if you're a filtered person and you're working in an unfiltered environment, that's again not going to help you to be successful. So find what type of a person you are. If you are someone who is ready to follow the rules and you enjoy following the rules and do what the other person says, your manager or your school teacher, then be a filtered person and follow the rules. And if you are an unfiltered person, you're not supposed to do that. So know who you are. That's the first lesson. Lesson number two is begin with the end in the mind. That means remembering that you're going to die one day. So he quoted Steve Jobs' beautiful quote. Uh, so Steve Jobs in 2005, Stanford University, he's giving a speech. He's telling, knowing that I'm going to die one day is the, um, is the uh, powerful tool that I encountered to achieve big things in life. This is what Steve Jobs said. So if Steve Jobs has found that there is, a, there is something that's going to end in my life, I'm, I'm going to reach, I'm going to die someday. If he has that goal, if he has that determination that everything is not going to be the same, everyone should follow that we should determine or we should think about what people would say when i die when they come to my funeral and they say this person who's lying there he has helped thousands and thousands of people or they may say something else so you should you should think about what your what what people would say when you're in deathbed so beginning with end in the mind will really help you to be successful and that will help you to achieve bigger things right then that's the second lesson lesson number three is networking it's not what you know, it's who you know. So that is networking. He also talked about a lot of tips on how networking helps you to be successful. Here are tips like observing the people. See, we define networking as making connections. Our corporate world has made networking as connecting people, but it's not that. Networking is more of creating friends. It's more of creating that friendship, the trust between the other person. So there are tips like observing the other person, not just be a you know, taker, be a giver. So give, 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 automatically you create a connection and that's not networking, it's creating a friendship. So that's the third uh, rule for success. And the lesson number four is this, I'm gonna check my uh, notes right here. So work-life balance. So here's a beautiful lesson here. Uh, we all know Edison, we all know Edison. Oh, sorry, it's not Edison, it's Albert Einstein. So we all know Albert Einstein as a famous scientist, but there is something that we don't know about Albert Einstein. He he, didn't, he was successful in form of his career, but on the other hand, in his uh, family, he did a very worse job. He has four children. He has one child who is mentally ill, and one of his child come up and said, the uh, only project that my father gave up is me or my uh, or family. So it's, success is not in one form. It's, it's more of uh, your family. So balancing work life, that matters a lot. So he has given a lot of tips to how to balance your work life, creating plans, managing your time, looking at what time, uh, how much time you're spending on what stuff, that all helps you to balance your work life, right? So these are all the four lessons that I learned. So it's a really interesting book. I just completed reading like 20, 30 minutes before, and I wanted to uh, review this book right away. 
I had a lot of other books to review, but this guy came on top of the list. So please give it a thought and read this book. You would really uh, be, you know, mind blown to know what is the real reason behind success. Uh, a lot of scientific uh, researches. He has shared not just the lessons or stories. He had shared a lot of uh, researches and papers that are done based on psychology or social social things and a lot of other interesting books that he read. So go ahead and read this book. I wish you to be successful and thank you for watching. Bye for now.